Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. We got the same setup as before. We are finishing off the left side of this box, which I have to check. Uh, yep, one pack did slip. Like I was looking at this box initially, it looks like it was uneven. It looks like one of the packs did slip from the right side over to the left. Had to make sure that. We are also going to open up the, which one should we do? Mm. I feel like we always save these to the last. Like, I really wanted to save this one to last because I like this one the best. But we're going to open this one up at the end of this. Uh, so with all that indecision out of the way, let's get right into the last four packs of the left side of our first box. We got the Arkmon, Flamemon, Lokomon, Beowulfmon, Growlmon, Taumon, Dexdorugamon, Willis, four play costs, start of your main phase, or on play. One of your green Digimon gets plus 2,000 DP until the end of your opponent's turn. Your turn. When one of your Digimon with Terriermon or Lopmon in its name is played by suspending this Tamer, one of your such Digimon may Digivolve into a Digimon card in the hand with the Digivolution cost reduced by 2. Security, play this card without paying the cost. Alright. We got Bibimon. I know we've seen him before, but your turn, once per turn, when in effect places a Tamer card in this Digimon's Digivolution cards, gain one memory. So, fairly straightforward. We got another Doomsday Clock. I love that. And we got Shine Greymon. 11 play costs, 3 Digivolution costs, 11,000 DP. When Digivolving, you may play one Marcus Damon from your hand without paying the cost. All turns, once per turn. When this Digimon would leave the battle area by an opponent's effect, by returning one of your yellow tamers to the hand, prevent it from leaving. Um, Doesn't seem like a main mega. Like Probably there's a new burst mode or something that's going to make this one great. Otherwise, it's definitely like a side mega to me. And we got Essomon. Super rare. Very cool. Uh, so this is level 6, 12 play cost, 12 Digivolution, or 12,000 DP. Digivolve from an e from a level 5, Esomon for a cost of 4. When Digivolving or when attacking once per turn, you may play 1 level 5 or lower Esomon from your hand without paying the cost. All turns once per turn, when one of your Esomon is played, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with as much or less DP as that Digimon. Your turn for each Tamer... All of your Esomon get plus 1,000 DP. Oh, this one, it's kind of helping the Esomon, like, very much so in my opinion. Uh, I don't know. If I do go back and try and make an Esomon deck, it's going to be a little difficult. I'm going to need to buy a bunch more Esomon, because I think those are one of the ones where you could have, like, 40 copies in the deck. So I'd want to get a bunch of those. Um... And then at least a full play set of all of these. Uh, but yeah, I I think this definitely gives it the power boost that I was saying. Like, their tamer is really great. That one's also pretty good for that. On to the second pack. Let's see what we can grab out of this. We got Murmuskamon. Cubimon. Hippogriffmon, Dexdoru Greymon, Burning Greymon, Taumon, Antilamon, Miname, Argomon, Return to the Prime Progenitor, Fenry Logamon, 11 play costs, 3 Digivolution costs, 11,000 DP. Digivolves from red or purple is dual color purple red. Digivolve from level 5 with the SOC trait for a cost of 3. When Digivolving, if EG is in this Digimon's Digivolution cards, you may play one Fenrir Lugamon or Kazuchimon from your trash without paying the cost. At the next end of your opponent's turn, return the Digimon to the hand. All turns, once per turn. When one of your Digimon or Tamers that have the SOC trait or Pulsemon in their text is played, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 10,000 DP or less. 
Uh, Inherited Effect, your turn. While the Sigimana has Fenrir Logramon uh, in its name, the turn end condition is the opponent having three or more memory. Ooh, okay. I was like, I don't understand where this is going. But instead of ending uh, when your opponent has one or more memory, it has to end when your opponent has three or more memory. That is pretty crazy. Uh, and the way that it allows you to pull the uh, Fenrir Logamon out from the trash, that is pretty good. Uh, I imagine that means that this one has to copy the name of the previous form. Because it would have to digivolve to a level 7. Oh, it's Fenrir Logamon in its name. So that means that like there's something above this. Like I don't know what it would be, but there's something above it. Uh, that shares the same name, like a burst mode or something. And we got Metal Gururumon. 11 play costs, 3 digivolution costs, 11,000 DP. Digivolve from level 5 with Gururumon the same for a cost of 3. When this card would be played, if you have a Tamer with Matt in its name, reduce the play cost by 3, just like the War Greymon we saw. On player when Digivolving, activate one of the effects below. One of your opponent's Digimon or Tamers can't suspend until the end of their turn. One of your Agumon may Digivolve into War Greymon in the hand, ignoring its Digivolution requirements and without paying the cost. Inherited Effect. When attacking once per turn, if this Digimon has Omnimon in its name, unsuspend it. So yeah, this one's definitely working with the uh, War Greymon. It's good for that. Otherwise, I wouldn't even put it in the Gabumon deck because that other effect's kind of meh. All right, third pack. Let's see if we can pull some good stuff. We got the Ark, Aldemon, Lobomon, Renamon, Kendo Gururumon, Lokomon, Dorumon, Rhythm, Willis, uh, Ancient Guardian Deity. We got Gabumon, 3 play cost, 0 digital cost, 1000 DP. Digivolve from Sumamon for cost of 0. Uh, digital from red or blue is mono blue. Start of your main phase. If you have a tamer with Matt in its name, draw one card. Inherited Effect. End of your turn. This Digimon and another of your Digimon may DNA Digivolve into a Digimon card in hand. So yeah, this is kind of just like same idea uh, with the Agumon and War Greymon we saw. Where they're both allowing you to DNA Digivolve into each other. Uh, I wouldn't suggest putting full playsets of both Gabumons and Agumons in the deck. I would choose ones from different sets. Because you're essentially getting the same ability from both of them. And that could be a little overkill. Like, I don't know how many you'd want to put in. But, like, with your average deck having 12, if you put full of both these guys in, that'd be, like, 8 of your 12 rookies. And for me, that's just a little too much. And we got Parrotmon, which we've seen, but he's a rare, so we're going to go over him. 7 play cost, 3 digital cost, 7,000 DP. Security at the end of the battle. If you don't have a Digimon, play this card without paying the cost. On a player when Digivolving, suspend one of your opponent's Digimon. Inherited effect. All turns, once per turn. When this Digimon deletes an opponent's Digimon in battle, you may unsuspend this Digimon. Again, I like it for the movie references. Not too much for what it is. Because it seems like it should have been a red card, so it could have been in, like, the... Uh, Beomon kind of situation, because they like avians, and uh, that would probably work there a little bit better. Last pack this video before we get to open up uh, the movie pack. And we got Terriermon, Agumon, Bulkmon, Dex Dorugamon, Rise Greymon. Trailmon, Beowulfmon, Cerebrusmon, Werewolf Mode. I don't think we've seen this one. Seven play costs, four Jivlush costs, 7,000 DP. Digivolve from Cerebrusmon for a cost of one. When Digivolving, you may play one level three blue or purple Digimon card from your trash 
or from one of your Digimon's Digivolution cards without paying the cost. At the next end of your opponent's turn, return it to the hand. Rule this rule trait has Dark Animal type. Okay. And Inherited Effect, all turns, once per turn, when an effect plays one of your Digimon, return one of your opponent's level 3 Digimon to the hand. Kenny seems pretty meh. Like, I really like his design, but he seems meh. Uh, we got Jaomon, which we have seen. We got Bibimon, which we've seen. We got Golfmon, which I think was one of the first cards that we pulled from this uh, entire box. Uh, 12 play costs, 3 digital costs, 11,000 DP. Digivolve from level 5 with Dark Master in its text for a cost of 3. On player, when digivolving by placing one level 5 card with Dark Masters in its text from your hand or trash, as this Digimon's bottom Digivolution card, delete one of your opponent's level 5 or lower Digimon. When attacking, by returning 7 cards from your opponent's trash to the bottom of their deck, unsuspend the Digimon. Okay, so, reading this guy a second time, after some time, what it's saying is that uh, it's not a level 5 with Dark Master and Straight, it's in the text. So that makes more sense. So um, I'm sure there's some level fives with it in its text. I do like how a Pokemon is right there in the background. Pretty cool. Um, but yeah, that makes more sense. And f let's see, final card of this video. We got Dex Dorugamon. Uh, 13 play cost, 5 Digivolution cost, 13,000 DP. Digivolves from black or purple is dual color purple black. Digivolve from Doruga, Dorugoramon for cost of two. Trash, all turns. When one of your Dorugoramon would be deleted by Digivolving into this card without paying the cost, prevent that deletion. When Digivolving, the Digivolve 3, one of your opponent's Digimon, then if your Dorugoramon is in the Digimon's Digivolution cards or is Digivolved from the Trash, Delete all of your opponent's Digimon with the lowest level. All turns once per turn. When another Digimon is deleted, you may unsuspend this Digimon. Yeah, I mean, I'm liking this entire new uh, Dex kind of playset where they're going to be able to be played from the trash. It does make Golfmon that much more of a counter to them, but that's a very niche kind of deck to do it up against. But yeah, I like him. So with that, we've opened up all of the main packs, but as I said, we're halfway through, so we're going to open up the Movie Memorial pack. I'm hoping to get that one, because that one looks cute and reminds me of the first movie, which I'm sure is the point. So let's see what we can get. And we got... Yo! That is awesome. I love it. That is the one card that I really wanted from those, just seeing the pictures. And now I've got it, which makes me happy. Uh, so this is the Jedi from BT14. Three play costs. Main, you may reveal the top five cards of your deck. Add one level three Digimon card and one non-white Tamer card among them to the hand. Return the rest to the bottom of the deck. Opponent's turn. When an opponent's level five or higher Digimon attacks, by suspending this Tamer, Move one of your Digimon from the breeding area to the battle area. Security, play this card without paying the cost. I love the artwork. This one just still seems kind of meh to me. Like, a level 3 to reveal the top 5 cards of your deck, and then you get to add one level 3 Digimon and one non-white Tamer card among them, and then you put the rest at the bottom of your deck. And then this other effect is... It's the meh part to me. Like, oh, you get to move something from the breeding area out. Like... Great. What what good is that, really? Like, unless you're planning on that one having blocker and you can move it out, that could be useful, Like, but it's very niche. But that said, I am super happy with this one because even though it is Matt, I love that picture. It just takes me back to the first movie where they're all coming out of doors. Uh, and then after they're finished talking, like, just the way that they kind of, like, wander off in different directions and they do like that walking animation into a wall like several of them just kind of just like do like very early computer kind of uh actions where they're just kind of like 
walking straight headfirst into a wall with a continuous walk cycle. It is just classic. But yeah, I'm very happy with this one. Uh, let me know, like, which of the other movie ones would you like to see? Like, because this one, this was one that I wanted the most, even though it's meh. I think it's a really fun looking card. Leave that in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, as always, give it a good old thumbs up. Hit that like button. If you haven't, please do subscribe. I really do appreciate it. It helps the channel grow. Uh, the algorithm loves it. We upload videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And as always, until then, I will see you next time.